scanning for audio. Welcome to a Tin Dog podcast. Again, I'm back to the big finishes, doing Blake 7. But you know what? I'm not going to apologise that one jot. The next few podcasts will, of course, be covering Doctor Who, as well as Blake 7. And on the Blake 7 front, I will be working my way through Series 1. Series 1 was reduced to an exceptionally cheap price just a few weeks ago over on a big finish for one weekend. So a lot of people snapped them up and they've emailed me asking me to cover them and I'm honoured to be able to do that sort of thing. There are six stories covering this and they take place after Gan's, let's call it, departure, shall we? But while Blake is still on the ship. So we're basically in the back end of Series 2 or Series B as it's known to the fans. We're starting with Series 1, Episode 1. Now I've covered warship some time ago and that was the midpoint between series b and c so here we have the classic crew so let's hit you with a synopsis and then i'll talk about it an attack by travis and a squadron of federation pursuit ships leaves the liberator damaged its engines in desperate need of repair Blake is forced to take the ship into the derelict zone, which is filled with hundreds of drifting spacecraft that never made it out alive The same fate awaits his crew, because the time long expected has come. One of them has turned traitor. Written by Justin Richards, directed by Ken Bentley. It's interesting to experience the difference in tone between something that existed so long ago to something that exists now with the current Series 2 run. Series 1, as a whole, is exceptionally strong and builds to a brilliant climax, but that I'll talk about when we come to it. It has to build slowly and reintroduce the characters. You can jump in at any point, but this is a great starting point, because the narratives do follow. They are linked broadly, but they are important. Here we have a very, very good story. Why? Because the only major characters in it with the exception of the odd mutoid, are the main cast. Now, when it comes to Doctor Who, you've got the Doctor, an assistant, possibly two, and you've got the guests of the week. They're your main characters. But when it comes to Blake Seven, you've got quite a big standard cast and your guests of the week. If you're reintroducing and helping your actors, well, feel more at home, you've got a lot of work to do. And that's where this story works best. You have got a lot of work to do, I'll grant you that. But what you have to do is let the audience bed in. I'm not selling this story at all, am I? And that's not good, because it is very well done. The initial bit with Travis attacking the ship is fast-paced and exciting, just as good as Warship. And then they head over to the derelict zone. And as a member of the audience, as a listener, you're going, don't go there. There's a reason it's a derelict zone. There's a reason that the spaceships don't go there. Oh, look, you've gone anyway. Yes, the transporter, sorry, teleporter, manages to kick in almost by itself. Let's use rabbit ears. And there is perhaps something on board the ship. It's called fractures because that's very important to the storyline. But as always, I don't want to give too much away. I'm not here to be Mr. Spoiler. What I am here to say is that all of the performances are great. It's as if they haven't been away and they provide us with something lovely. Jan Chappell's character is very, very good. Jenna is much better than I remember her being. 
And although Gareth Thomas's voice is a trifle croaky, once your ears in, you can't hear Rog Blake sounding any different. Yes, Orac doesn't quite sound the same and neither does Zen, but it's the best we could manage and I'm more than willing to put up with it. And then after a while, this is the Zen and Orac that we're used to and we love. So I've got no issues there either. It's a great little story and a lovely way back into the series, a series of six stories. So until next time when I'm talking about this or Doctor Who, here's the trailer and I'll let you decide for yourself. So until next time, be seeing you. Coming soon from Big Finish Productions. Blake 7, the classic audio adventures. I'm taking Liberator in on manual. We'll be in teleport range in two minutes. What the hell was that? Information. Liberator has been attacked. You don't say. Put up the force wall. Confirm. Message to all ground commanders. Initiate the final phase. Let's crush these rebels once and for all. Blake, we can't take much more of this. We've got to make a run for it. All of a sudden, the planet swarming with Federation troopers seems like a preferred option. This is foolish. Reckless. You're teleporting into the biggest concentration of Federation military we've ever come across. Foolish. Reckless. This plan's got you written all over it, Blake. Liberator! Teleport! Teleport now! My name is Avon. Kerr Avon. Kerr Avon? You're one of Blake's people. I'm not with his group anymore. We had a falling out. I need teleport now! And then there was one. Our hostage arrives. But you may be unnecessary. As a hostage, it's nice to be superfluous. How long have you been here? You don't seem very pleased to see me. Blake. Subscribers get more at bigfinish.com. You've been listening to the Tin Dog Podcast. Available on RSS, iTunes, Stitcher, Audio Boom, and Tumblr. Doctor Who and its associated works are copyright of the BBC. No infringement is intended. You can contact the show, donate, buy merchandise, or find out more about my other projects by visiting the Tin Dog Podcast homepage and clicking on the links. The Tin Dog Podcast is a founder member of the Doctor Who Podcast Alliance. (laughs) 